Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are... Well, we're waiting, basically, for our... Our, um... Mars Prep Ground Hub to be done. It's launching in seven months. We have two mission slots available. And someone, uh, Meister Metzka, uh, made a very good observation that I have completely forgotten about the X-ray telescope, which is a quick mission, one month. Uh, we have the research and we can even finish second, so why not plan that mission? Uh, he made that comment on a earlier episode, on episode 30, I think it was. Uh, and let's do it. Let's build this payload with some extra power. We, we might as well, right? And get some research for that. So, uh, and we also have an active mission. Uh, so we need to do atmospheric entry for the subsurface penetrator here. So let's do that. And let's see, we need to deal with radiation. It's 10% per. So we actually need to hit this twice. Uh, we need eight comms for data for nav to get the bonus. We have four turns, three commands per turn. So I guess the first one will have to be something like this. Which will use all our power, basically. But it will keep our... Uh, payload or uh, satellite uh, reliable so it stays at 90 and it'll go up by three okay so why don't we do one two three orbital alignments that gives us three three and six and keeps our Satellite reliable again, 90% reliability, and we get three. But basically, now we can just do a hmm. actually. Let's do this. That gives us three, six, and four. And takes our radiation down. Then we can do telemetry transfer times two. That gives us seven, four, and six. Then we just need one more. And we still have 90% reliability. So I think that's pretty good. So we just need one more calm. So if we do a mission data update and recharge our power twice, we get our 50% bonus reward. Not bad. And there we go. That mission is complete. And we gain 983 support and 882 science for four months. Not bad. Not bad. So the contractor's office will be done next month. And we'll be launching the selenological studies this month as well. Alright, let's go ahead and launch that mission. It was quite reliable. 88% on launch and 85 on the uh, payload. So, 1% risk of critical failure, 4 of a negative event. Let's go. And it's 
a big Saturn rocket that we're launching. Here at the tower. It's so slow when we launch these big ones. It scares the crap out of me every time that they're gonna blow up. Uh, looks like we are clear and safe. Very good. And we get a positive event. Nice. Plus one comms on first task in mission. And the Saturn II reaches max level. So it's 85% reliable as well all right we need thrust we need to deal with drift and we have crew and we need 10 of 10 comms 10 nav 10 thrust so we need to hit this three times on the last turn we have four turns three commands per turn so we need to get up to 16 comms that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. Let's do a manual data collection. Let's do that twice, actually. That gives us nine comms. We have four crew oh, on this. So that is very nice. Then we can do... Hmm. A cosmic dust analysis. That gives us 8, 2, and 3. Let's do that. Alrighty. Now, the controlled burn here will give us... Uh, nav as well so we just need seven nav but we need 16 comms so i think we'll do two manual data collections again and a cosmic dust analysis actually you know what let's do a trajectory optimization that gives us 17 and 5 and we are within the drift. It's minus two to two drift. All right, that's 17 and five. Then we can actually do a tra trajectory optimization again, if we had some nav or some data, sorry. So why don't we just do a cosmic dust analysis that takes us to 16 and 7. We're going to get three here. We're going to spend three of those. So we can just recharge, actually. And then do this three times. And that'll get us there on the last turn. And then just three controlled burns. 10% bonus reward achieved. Everything is as it should be. We actually have an extra turn on this because we have the um, astronaut who gives us an extra turn on the last task. Or on the la an extra command on the last turn, it's called. Let's resist that. All right, task complete. Then we need to achieve lunar orbit. Need to deal with drift again. And we gain three drift at the start of each turn. We need to be between minus one and one. We have four commands, three commands per turn, except for the last one where we have four. So we're at plus three now. We need 10 comms, 15 data, and 10 nav. So I'm actually thinking that we do two manual data collections. And then... Hmm, 
Then we can do a location extrapolation and an infrared. Oh, that's uh, that's the turn. That's the turn. So let's do that. Oh, we need to assist here. Let's just do it, and that will take us to the uh, zero. So if we do one of these again, then we can do one of these. And another one of these, I think, takes us to eight, ten, and three. Dang it. Okay, we have two turns left. We can do this again. Then we need to get... Actually, we need to do like this. 8, 20, and 3. Then we can do the manual data collection once next turn. And we can do... Orbital plane adjustment. Once. And a location extrapolation. We should be fine. It's 20% bonus reward here. Dang it. That sucks. All right, we don't need to worry about drift because we are where we should be. So we don't need to hit this. So we can hit this, then we can recharge, hit this again. And hit a data compression. That takes us to 13, 17, 14, 20% bonus reward. Drift is right on the money. And we are just fine. Dang it. Uh, we'll have to accept that. But it's fine because we had extra. So that's lunar orbit. Then we need to perform a lunar descent. This is a quite long mission, actually. So we need 20 comms, 10 data, 5 nav, and we need to deal with drift again. Uh, it doesn't move on its own, though. We have 4 turns, 3 commands per turn. And... 20, 10, and 5. So let's do this. And then we can do an external sensor alignment. That gives us 6, 3, and 2. And puts our drift a little bit out of bounds, but that's okay because it doesn't matter until the very last turn. Okay. Let's do this again. And then two conductings of experiments. That gives us 6, 13, and 2. Yeah, that seems good to me. Then we can do a gyroscopic stabilization. Ooh, that was close. Nice. A little bonus there. Would be okay if it was comms it's not it's data but that's actually okay too because that lets us do two gyroscopic stabilizations that gives us 12 10 and 8 and then we can do a packet transfer that gives us 16 12 and 5 our drift is in a within margins So yeah, I think we are going to get our 30% bonus here. Let's do that. Damn it. Okay. So... 
If we do a location extrapolation, then we could do a packet transfer. That gives us our bonus reward and we can recharge twice. Everything is fine. Our drift is in alignment. All good. Alright. We are going down to the surface of the moon. Here it comes, the lander. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. All right. We have landed. Then we need to dock with the command module. So the pod is taking off. Capsule. All right, uh, we need to deal with drift again. A lot of drift here. This time it needs to be perfect on zero. It's not going to fluctuate though. Again, four turns remaining, three commands per turn. We need 14 data, 14 nab. Okay. Let's do that. That gives us 10 data. And no drift. Nice. A little bonus on the first command. An extra nav. Not bad. Then... I think we'll do this again. Actually, there's really no point in doing it twice. So don't, why don't we do an external sensor alignment? Takes us to 18 and three. Dang it. Reduced by three, let's resist that. All right. Then we can do a recharge and two orbital plane adjustments. That gives us our 40% bonus reward. We are at 16 and 15. Our drift is at zero. And we complete the task with a turn in hand. Not bad. All right. We are docked. Beautiful. And then we need to perform a controlled re-entry where we need to deal with heat. Nope, oh, I didn't mean to click there. That was an accident. All right. 14 com 18 nav for the bonus. We need to keep our heat under three. And we will get one to three heat per turn. We're at two now. So let's do... Let's do a manual data collection. Let's actually do two of those. Then we can do an... External sensor alignment. That gives us six, two, and three. And zero heat. And a fail right off the bat. Oh, that was close. 16%. Alright, we got three heat this time. So, we can do two of these manual data collections. That actually gives us the comms that we need. And then we can do an orbital plane adjustment, taking us to 14, 8, and 2, with three turns remaining. Well, two turns remaining. Now, 
All right, we go back up to three feet. Let's take it down some. And we'll do an orbital plane adjustment and recharge our power again. The next turn we can do a manual data collection. We can do a orbital plane adjustment and that will take us there. And the heat is under control as well. And the heat only goes up to two. So we could actually just do a boost transmission and an orbital plane adjustment and recharge our power. That gives us more than enough than everything. We can recharge our power twice even. Because of our bootstrapper, we get two per recharge. And because of the other astronaut, I forget what he is called. We get an extra command on the last turn. Our heat is in check. Let's do it 50% bonus reward. And we can more than resist anything. Very nice. All right. Home we go to planet Earth for a nice, gentle splashdown. And there we go. And we don't need to see the boats picking up. All right, lunar landing. We get 4,680 support and 1,379 science for six months. That is outstanding. Ending. And everyone is available available immediately. So that's nice. That was because of the event that happened uh, during we, uh, the um, construction of the rocket. All right. We need to do some more research. Let's do the conference center. And we can actually build a building. We can build the contractor's office. Hmm. Let's just build that right here. It'll cost three million. Minus two percent vehicle build time, not bad. Alright, we have a new request mission on Mercury. Core science, 1,094 and 3,455. So it's exactly the same that we get out of it. But I don't think we need to do it. We're not going to do it. Uh, we have no request missions here. So we actually have three acts three mission slots available at the moment. There's no request mission here. Oh, you know what? It doesn't take so long, these Mercury ones, six months. Challenging and challenging. Let's plan that mission. We'll give it some extra power. We don't want to reduce the reliability, 90% payload reliability. That is nice. That'll take three months to build. Let's just continue on to the next event. Oh, before we do that, how is everyone else looking? We are at 87% readiness. NASA 20, Russia 27, Japan 37, and China 38. We are so far ahead. All right, next event, that is actually the Mariner that is complete. Lunar rock is from Earth. One of the largest rocks retrieved from the moon by your selenological studies mission has turned out to be from Earth. Mineral analysis showed, in in, showed the 4 billion year old rock resembled those found on Earth rather than other lunar samples. Scientists believe it was blasted off ancient Earth by an asteroid impact before landing on the moon. The finding makes the rock the first terrestrial meteorite to be discovered, as well as the oldest known Earth rock. Gain 500 science. Nice. Can live with that. All right. Uh, oh, it's, wow, it's bright there, right? Uh, Russia completed Uranus flyby. Nothing else is really going on. 
There's a new request mission on Venus endurance test. Eh. Next month. Conference center research complete. The conference center allows increased scope for multinational collaboration on space projects. Okay. And our Mariner 8 is complete 90% reliability. That is sweet. Let's design a vehicle for it. The upper stage will be the Gina. The booster will be the Atlas. And the upgrade, look how reliable it is. Um, will be composite casing. No, when will be uh, horizontal integration. It'll only take four months to build. Confirm. Build it. And we completed the conference center, so let's go ahead and do the mobile landing pad. Deep space network. Plus 5% payload reliability. It's not bad. Unlocks tier 3 astronaut talents. You know what? We're doing that. Change research. We're doing that. Right, we have the funding review in three months. We are not quite there. We do need... Uh, what, 825 support to get to the next tier. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, we are launching the Mars Prep Ground Hab in three months as well. All right. There we go. We have a new joint mission available with NASA. Specialized component, plus 20% reputation, or plus 20 reputation with NASA. I don't really care about that because we are already at max reputation with them. Oh, we need to build our building here, the conference center. Let's build it there. That's where there's room for it. Next month. Budget review. Not quite. Not quite, but it's darn close. 675 away from going up to the next tier. Damn it. All right. Mars Prep Ground Hab ready for launch. 88% launch reliability, 85% payload reliability, and 7,778 science. Let's do it. We have adequate conditions, 2% risk of going boom, and 6% of a... Negative event. Let's go. It's a cool looking rocket. I like that rocket. We have lift off. We cleared the tower. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful, man. Go, rocket, go. Oh. Oh. It's tilting, but not more than it should, thankfully. Oh, come on. Negative event, minus one power for duration of mission. Man, that sucks. And that was the first time we launched the SLS Block 2s. So they get a little bit more reliable. All right, we need five com, five nav, and ten thrust. We have six turns, but only two commands per turn. So we need to hit this once on the second to last turn and twice on the last turn. So that means we need six data and we need eight com. All right. 
All right. Signal attenuation test and ultraviolet imaging will be our first go. That gives us 2COM6 data. Let's confirm that. Nice. Get a little boost there. Two extra comms. Okay, that takes us to four and six then. Then... I think we'll do a boosting of the transmission. And then another ultraviolet imaging. That gives us eight and ten. And we just need some nav. Nice two additional. So that takes us to 12 data. No. If we do this and this, that gives us the nav we need. Then next turn we can do a boosting of transmission and a calculated thruster burn and then we can do two calculated thruster burns on the turn after and we're done so a boosting of the transmission and a calculated thruster burn then so we have the comms we have the nav we can do two calculated thruster burns next turn giving us the objective and the bonus with a turn in hand. Not bad. So there we go, 50% bonus reward achieved. We have the thrust and everything, and that will complete this phase of the mission. And there we go, woohoo! All right, 545 support, 243 science for four months. And we are on our way. Japan completed space station, fifth. All right, we have a new request mission here, a solar telescope together with China, new. Not a chance, China. All right, well, Next month, the Cumbersome will be complete, and the XX, XMM Newton will be complete, our X-ray telescope. But we'll have to take a look at that in the next one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.